Hello friends, welcome to Knowing How the Beautiful Iron Immortal had came in existence which attracts tourists around the world today. The Eiffel Tower, which represents French ingenuity and industrial prowess, was built to celebrate the 1889 World's Fair and showcase France's engineering capabilities. The construction was a remarkable technical achievement, completed in a record time of two years, two months, and five days. Location The Eiffel Tower is located in Paris, France, on the left bank of the Seine River. Let's uncover the story of how Eiffel Tower's design was finalized. The Eiffel Tower's design was finalized through a design competition, where engineers Maurice Kishlin and Emile Nouguier drafted the initial concept, and architect Steven Sovestre refined the look with decorative elements like arches and pavilions. Gustav Eiffel's company, giving the tower its name, then developed the design which was officially approved and accepted in 1884 to be the centerpiece of the Exposition Universelle. The tower's designer, Gustave Eiffel, had a small, private apartment on the top level, where he hosted notable guests like Thomas Edison. Let's now dive deeper and understand the key facts about the birth of the Eiffel Tower. Primary purpose, to serve as the magnificent entrance arch and centerpiece for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, World's Fair. Construction Dates Construction started on January 28, 1887, and the main structural work was completed on March 31, 1889. Material The tower is made of puddle iron, a form of wrought iron, not steel, which was an innovative choice at the time for such a tall structure. Height Upon completion, it stood at 312 meters, 1,024 feet, with the flagpole, making it the tallest man-made structure in the world at the time, a title it held for 41 years until the Chrysler Building was completed in 1930. Components The structure used approximately 18,038 metallic parts and was held together by 2.5 million rivets. Labor Around 150 to 300 on-site workers were involved in the assembly, with all parts prefabricated in Eiffel's factory on the outskirts of Paris. Safety record. Despite the perilous nature of the work at height, only one worker died during the entire construction process, a testament to the safety precautions implemented by Eiffel's company. Initial criticism. The tower faced significant criticism from prominent Parisian artists and intellectuals who considered it an eyesore or an odious column of bolted sheet metal that would ruin the city's skyline. Temporary Intent The tower was originally intended to be a temporary structure and scheduled for demolition after 20 years. However, its value for scientific purposes, particularly as a radio antenna and meteorological station, saved it. Weight. The metal framework alone weighs 7,300 tons, with a total weight of approximately 10,100 tons. Changing size. Due to thermal expansion, the iron structure expands in the heat of the summer, causing the tower to grow by up to 15 centimeters, 6 inches, and shrink again in colder temperatures. Engraved names. The names of 72 French scientists, engineers, and mathematicians are engraved on the sides of the tower in recognition of their contributions. Now all of us who are watching this video must be wondering if the Eiffel Tower is made of iron. How is it not rusted and broken yet? The Eiffel Tower is protected from corrosion primarily by a thick coat of paint which is reapplied approximately every seven years according to a plan established by Gustave Eiffel. This regular repainting schedule prevents rust by creating a protective barrier against moisture, pollution, and weather. The paint job is a massive and detailed undertaking that includes surface preparation, primer, and multiple coats. The symbol of love and one of the world's wonder stands high and powerful even today fascinating everyone in the world and welcoming nearly 7 million visitors each year. Hope you visit the Eiffel Tower soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you all next time.